Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. We got to talk about Shannon Sharp in Stack Five, Steven Jackson. Um, I'm not. A, everybody knows I'm not a fan of Steven Jackson. That's not a secret. Um, I felt like he was definitely clout chasing during the whole George Floyd situation. You guys know I'm here in the Twin Cities in Minneapolis. I was here during the chaos of 2020 um, with everything that happened with George Floyd. And um, he definitely used that situation to clout chase. And my twin, my twin, my twin. You know, well, if he was so much your twin, why was he out here doing porn and, you know, um, struggling? But anyhow, um, he was hating really bad on Shannon Sharp. And this is what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these people be just so fake. Like, they're not really supporters of each other. Everybody's in, like, this weird-ass competition with each other. And so what's going on is we all know Shannon Sharp's interview with uh, Cat Williams. It's now gotten over 50 million views. Like, I... I've never seen nothing like it. And I've been on YouTube a long time. Like he got numbers like a Joe Rogan. I think he surpassed Joe Rogan, you know, but again, that interview was so refreshing and I'm not going to lie. I think I watched that interview, that whole interview, at least four times. Just, that's just how good it was. It's like, you know, there were certain things that I missed and I went back and I listened and watched. So I, I know for me, I watched it four times. So I know I gave him some damn views, okay? I know that check is nice. And then on top of that, they were splitting up the interview and shit. And even the little, uh, like the 10 minute clips that they were putting up, those, those were getting a million views. So Club Shay Shay got that damn bag, honey. So I feel like a lot of these other sports guys who now do podcasts, they're definitely feeling a way. And what's so funny is that now all of these guys who basically have corporate backing, let's keep it real, none of these guys got it out the mud. Um, us YouTubers, we've been here doing stuff by ourselves. We don't have whole production teams and people in our ears. And, you know, we run everything ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these guys are corporate back, but they want to act like they're so hood and they're so real and this and that. And so I just, I didn't, I didn't like what um, Steven Jackson was trying to do by hating on Shannon Sharp. Cause that's all I got from him was just jealousy and hypocrisy. So we're gonna watch this really quick here. Ooh, how do I move this? Hold on. Okay, so we're gonna watch this clip of Steven Jackson basically talking shit about the Cat Williams Shannon Sharp interview. And then Shannon Sharp is on Ocho Cinco's podcast because he too has a podcast <laughs> and they're talking about it. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this real quick. I should speak their mind. That's just what it is. I wouldn't let him, I wouldn't let him go hard as he did on a lot of people on our show. I just wouldn't. Because we got relationships with him. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. You don't have a show. So you wouldn't know what you would do. We've done millions, we've done hundreds of shows. So we know how to handle that type of shit. Whole world talking about the cat interview. The whole world. Everybody giving their opinions. But I can't speak on it because I'm so live. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Well, go on everybody else pay and tell them that too. Now, when I first got into the podcast, yeah. ain't nobody take no shots at me. Yeah. Because I was under the You see? Yeah. As oh. I started to rise. I have a question. Would you ever reach out to this individual and just, just have I'm a done. talk? I'm done. He no. in this space, I'm in my space. I'm good. Yeah. I, I don't know how you feel. See, you can really find out a lot about a person how they feel when they don't think when you're not around. What see, don't talk mean? good to my face. See, I need see, Ocho, I don't need you to talk good to my face. I need you to talk good behind my back. All right, child. Let me go ahead and get back on this screen. All right, so you guys just heard what Stack Five had to say. Oh, if he was on my platform, I wouldn't let him just, you know, go in on everybody. Oh, let me get he definitely gets the tiny violin. 
Dear, near, 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 near. He wasn't on your platform, so let's start there. He was on Club Shay Shay. Second of all, you're a hypocrite. You're saying that you weren't allowed him to, like, you know, talk reckless and speak his truth because you have relationships. Meaning that you care more about these celebrity relationships than getting the cele than getting the truth out there. Another thing is he claims to be so real. Remember, this is the same grown ass man who was on O Block, who went to O Block. As a grown man who's worth all of this money, who has things to lose, who's perpetuating bullshit, he went to O Block to go check in, okay? So he's been a clout chaser. On top of that, what I find very funny is that he says that he would never sit there and, you know, key key and laugh and, and allow Cat Williams to do what he did. Oh, how we forget. Now, on his podcast that he has with Matt Barnes, and mind you, before they got the All Up In Smoke podcast, nobody was checking for either one of them like that. The Up In Smoke podcast has been the best thing that has happened to Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson, okay? Remember before this, Matt Barnes was always viral for getting into it, you know, with his baby mama, you know, when she was messing with Derek Fisher, and then uh, the new baby mama that he's with, um, they got into it. That's what Matt Barnes was always known for on social media, outside of basketball. So now, you know, they, they're doing their podcast thing. But my thing is this. I find it very funny that he's saying that. But let me find this clip here. Again, all my stuff got shut down. So I got to pull it back up here. It's a clip of him. Here it is. Is this you, Steven Jackson? Let me go ahead and pause this real quick. And let me share my screen. We're going to watch this together. Remember, y'all, he just said that he would never allow Shannon, uh, excuse me, Cat Williams to do what he did. He would have never did that on his platform. He'd have been respectful. Now, this was him with Charles Oakley clowning Isaiah Thomas. So y'all watch this and watch everything that Stephen A. Smith is doing in this clip. By a lot of people. Scotty. <laughs> Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, I mean, Isaiah talk about himself. I mean, <laughs> don't know why I like Isaiah no more. I don't know what's up with Isaiah. He's just too sneaky, you know. He, he always think he ain't just too sneaky, you know. He, he always think he. About when you, when you almost got ran out of this league. So now that's Isaiah Thomas's fine ass. Okay. So what's so funny is, remember he said that oh he would never. I would never allow Cat Williams to disrespect other people and just let them just go on unchecked because that's what Nori did to Kanye and all that other nonsense, right? But in that clip, we just seen him allowing Charles Oakley to go in on Isaiah Thomas. He's laughing. He's kikiing. <laughs> just laughing his little heart out, right? So now Isaiah Thomas um, comes to the Up and Smoke podcast and he's basically confronting Steven Jackson and saying, you know, it's funny that you would be up here kicking with Charles Oakley about me, but you forgot I saved your ass. So we're gonna go ahead and watch this real quick. Where we at? In Indy? And yeah. Remember that call you made to me? And I called oh. the commissioner up. Man, I forgot about that. Jack, you was out. I was done. You was done. You was done. Said a lot about a lot of people. <laughs> Scotty. The hypocrisy is rich. The hypocrisy is rich. Just say you were jealous that Shannon Sharp got way more views than anything that Up and Smoke podcast has ever done and leave it at that. For him to sit here and act like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I can't believe that he would just sit there and allow that and this and that is BS because he's done the same thing. He didn't check Charles Oakley. He sat there laughing and kikiing about the situation. So I thought that was very interesting. I thought that was very interesting. See, that's one thing about us over here, tea sippers. We keep receipts. We keep receipts. So he's full of crap. No, just say that you're in your feelings because Shannon Sharp done came out of nowhere with that strong ass Southern accent and that lisp, okay? And he's doing numbers. And it is just what it is. And I like Club Shay Shay. Even before the whole Cat Williams thing, I've shouted out Club Shay Shay before. I've watched it. I loved his Michael Blackson interview. I watched the DC Young Fly interview that he did, I want to say maybe about a year ago. Um, he just makes people feel at home. 
So yeah, it was just funny. Like he was just saying all of this. Yes, the Aquarius energy is very real. It is. He was saying all of this and you've done the same thing. You've let your guests, you know what I'm saying, just roll out and, and clown people. I mean, he called Isaiah Thomas stinky and you laughed. Like that was uncalled for. We don't need to know if that man stinks or not, you know? So again, it just shows you that a lot of these folks are not really friends. They're all jealous of each other behind the scenes, backbiting. And I'm glad that Shannon Sharp is like, no, I don't want a relationship with them. I don't want to do anything with them. There's nothing to talk about. Let them stay in their lane. I'm going to stay in my lane. You know what I'm saying? If you so want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.